my name is Joaquin Cortez. I am a um, research assistant professor at UB. Um, I am also Chilean by nationality. The small companies, um, you are uh, working with a very small budget. Uh, mining is extremely expensive business. You have to spend a lot of money. Uh, it's a very risky business economic, uh, in economic terms. Um, so, so quite often this company uh, run with, with, with the problem of not having enough resources to, to have a good security. And sometimes, uh, some of them uh, don't, don't actually fulfill the very basic uh, level of, of, of security, particularly thinking, uh, you know, protecting the demand and, and, and so on. This particular company has a long history of, of violation of, of, of the safety regulation. They were closed in 2007 for somebody died actually in an accident. And one of the miners actually uh, had an accident last year and lost one of his fingers, for example. So, so they have a long history of, of violation of, of the regulations. So, on top of the fact that they are running with low budget as a small mining company, the company itself is probably not, 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 not one of the most pristine ones in the market. I believe that um, the the actual re regulation and how mining is done and conditioned uh, might, might improve uh, in Chile, but not just in Chile. This is going to be uh, going to have big reper repercussion in, in, in the world, in my opinion. Chile is a resilient country with an important mining culture. Um, we have the right technology, uh, we have the right people, uh, so probably that together with the kind of deposit, which is a porphyry copper, hard rock. Uh, were the main factor for this story to have a happy ending.